influence. So you have the Arab influence in there. You have the how do you call it? Bebe, 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 <laughs> Bebe. <laughs> What's good, people? It's your boy, Pudi boy. Again. Now let's have a look at the top African countries with the best food in 2024. If you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and then turn on that post notification bell so when I post on any other content or video, you will not be left out. Alright, let's go. The first African country on my list is Nigeria, Omonaija. Yes, a country whose meal is, uh, you know, a celebration of bold flavors and rich traditions. I call Nigeria like the symphony of spices <laughs> there's a backstory to that personally personal experience i'll share with you guys but nigeria oof, at the heart of nigerian cuisine is a goosey soup i know by now you know what a goosey soup is popularly known for nigerians it's actually made from melon seeds and leafy vegetables typically served with pounded yam or fufu you should try it out and not to forget about your street food popular street food that is spicy talking about suya yeah it's a spicy grilled meat i mean it's one of the favorite street food across the country so you can never go wrong with suya very spicy man very spicy and nigerians when it comes to their cuisines they have this unapologetic seasoning and spicing of food and stuff man Ah, so unapologetic. <laughs> yeah, to the backstory, I mean, I used to hang around Nigerians back in Juni and they broke my pepper tolerance, bruh. When they are doing their birthday celebrations and, you know, other celebrations, I mean, you go to the food is appetizing, nice food, there's a lot of food, but too much pepper, bro. Why, bro? Nigerians, <laughs> why? Why are you going with the pepper, man? Why? What's up? Huh? Next, we head to the Horn of Africa, talking about the land of flavors and tradition. Which country am I referring to? Talking about Ethiopia. So now Ethiopian food is actually known for its rich, earthy flavors and communal dining experience, making it one of the most distinct, you know, cuisines on the continent. At the center of Ethiopian cuisines, we have something called the injera. Pardon me if I didn't pronounce it right, but I think I got it right, injera. And then guys, as you can see, I have this horsey voice thing, yeah. Of this common cause so pardon my voice yeah so injera is actually a flat bread made of made from um turf flour that is mostly served both as the plates and then you know the utensils for different variety of dishes like the doro and all that so doro wat yes doro wat so you should check that out anytime you find yourself in ethiopia and ethiopia says i should tell you that if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, they got you covered because they have a variety of vegan and plant-based food like the shiro and the gourmet. Yes, you should, you, should, you should check it out. And if you come to the East African belt, I think Ethiopia, this is my opinion, to me, Ethiopia will be the only country, you know, frontlining this whole conversation because some of my experience in the West Africa, I mean the East African countries when it comes to food, ah, oh, it's boring. They got some boring cuisines, man. Boring. I don't want to mention names, but they know themselves. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's not even go there. Anyway, let's head to the next country on the list. Morocco. Yes, like Morocco is actually a country where food is actually an integral part of the culture and a daily life thing and they have a blend of different type of influence so you have the arab influence in there you have the how do you call it, it? bebe 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 <laughs> yeah yeah i really want to pronounce and then you have the french influence right in there so resulting into like a complex you know type of dish but as complex as it is so as delicious it is very delicious all right so Yes, I know what I'm talking about because I've had a taste of one particular cuisine I'll be talking to you guys about. But the very star um, cuisine is uh, Tanji. Yes, I don't know. Is it Tanjin or something? Yeah, I don't know if I pronounced it right, but Tanjin, yeah. So Tanjin is actually like um, a slow-cooked stew that is mostly cooked out of um, earthenware bowl. So the name was gotten out of 
the uh, the earthen well bowl that is used in cooking that food yes so the tangent also comprises of you can have the lamb you can have the chicken in there you can have the prawns type yeah so just variety now let's come to the moroccan cuisine hey, that pronounce it right that i have tried myself before talking about couscous Ooh. yeah i'm sure but you you've actually heard of the cuisine called couscous yes i've had a chance to taste it before and oh my god the cuisine the food oh man amazing amazing stuff amazing stuff actually so couscous is normally served with um you know um a thick broth and then um, vegetables and then with meat and that food is amazing i mean it, it has it's a staple that is light fluffy and incredibly satisfying i mean i'm a Ghanaian. if you should put jollof on the table and you should put couscous on the table oh i'm going for couscous man i mean if you've not had a chance to taste couscous probably you can't relate but this is an opportunity to let you know yes couscous is there oof amazing stuff amazing stuff morocco right on point right on point but the couscous ooh. yeah couscous my favorite i love it now let's take a detour to the southern part of africa talking about the rainbow nation a country whose food are as diverse as their people which country am i referring to i'm referring to south Africa. I mean, their cuisine is mostly referred to as the rainbow cuisine because it's a melting point of like African, the Dutch, um, Indian, Mali, yeah, and the Mali, you know, influence on there. So they have like different types of dishes, diverse dishes that caters for every taste bath. Yes. And then there's amazing foods you could taste. I mean, one of the, you know, hallmarks of the best cuisines in South Africa is the, uh, uh, is it Bobo Thai? Yes, Bobo Thai. Bobo Thai of Cape Mali, originating from Cape Mali. Yes, Bobo Thai. Now, this is, I don't want to talk too much about the Bobo Thai because I don't know too much about it. But what I'm so previewed to and had the opportunity to try myself, another iconic food known as the Bani Chow, Bani Chow, yes, the Bani Chow that's originating from KwaZulu Natal, Durban. Yeah, interesting cuisine, man. I had the opportunity to try it out and it's amazing. You know, I'm going to drop the link to that video in the description. You should check it out. Bani Chow, amazing, amazing, amazing. That's all I can tell you. You should check the video out and you can tell for yourself. Yes, and another interesting and incredible one that I love myself is braai i mean south africans answer to the whole barbecue game thing known as braai it's just amazing and you know braai is not just a meal it's a whole social event where um you have friends and family coming together to grill different types of meat meat there is different types of meat like um, the steak what um, different types of sausages in fact they don't even call it sausage they call it voice roll Red. Yeah, when you talk about red meat, eh? Yeah. This is proper red meat. <laughs> yeah, like amazing stuff, like bright, amazing. So bright too. I've had a chance to, you know, experience that, and I'm going to leave the link in the description. You should also check it out. How the whole thing looks like. Yeah, amazing stuff. I mean, South Africa, man, amazing. If you by chance find yourself in South Africa. Yeah, these are some of the things you should give a try to, yeah. And then, oh, see, I was supposed to taste um, crab curry and all that. I couldn't get a chance, but yeah, I'm sure I will. I will, I will, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that is South Africa for you. Now, let's take a detour back to West Africa. Yeah, talking about Senegal. I say it's an authority that Senegal is the heart of West African cuisine. If you come to West Africa and you're looking for the best place to go to with regards to the best cuisines, please start from Senegal. I mean, it's three countries I'm looking at. Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria. Yes, in that order. Yes, and Senegal actually, you know, are influenced with, you know, they have influence of um, French, Portuguese, and then the North African 
influence in everything they do with regards to their cuisine so they are known popularly known for their fresh ingredients you know they use fresh ingredients in their cooking and they have this old flavor of you know spicing things up yes and you know the crown jewel of senegalese cuisine is sibu jen sibu jen is also known as the jollof rice so if you've ever you know you know i know by now you know you know about this whole ghana and nigerian jollof you know war or argument or fight or whatever you, however you want to put it the originators actually is senegalese people you understand from senegal the actual name is sibu jen so another name for jollof rice is sibu jen when you go to senegal they call it the sibu jen it's actually originated from there and sibu jen no other west african country can cook better jollof rice than senegal from senegal ghana is next before you can even count nigeria to be part in fact that fight or that you know <laughs> Nigerians even know that, you know, they don't even come close when it comes to Jollof. You understand? Ghana is up there. But among these two countries, Ghana and Nigeria, both of us, our boss is Senegal. Yes, I. You are, get it from me. Yes. Get it from me. Senegal is our boss. So they call it Sibu Jen. And as you already know, they have like different type of flavor in cooking it. Um, it's the rice cooked with like tomatoes and all that. Just like the way Jollof is prepared. But you know there's more into that than the way we prepare it so senegal top notch senegal is the place man you should you should give it a try sibujian you should try sibujian yeah that's the uh, the the actual name for chalo fries yes i so this brings me to the last country my country ghana so when you come to ghana there is variety of food we have the jollof fries which you already know we have the wache we have the bangkung but i mean people actually mess with jollof and then the wache a lot i don't know too much about the local food i mean those from the diaspora when they get a chance to come i don't think they mess too much with the bangkung the, the typical local food but I know they mess with the jollof. Our jollof is top notch. That you cannot debate. Nigerians should not even try it. They are. That debate has already been set a long time ago and they know it already. So, to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, you already know. Come on, man. You already know. <laughs> we, we're not arguing on this matter anymore. Yeah. So, that is it. If you've ever had a chance to want to travel based on um, cuisines, um, the best cuisines you can ever find, yeah, these are the list of African countries. You have on there all right guys so let me know which african food you know which african country did i not mention that you you know you think they've got the best cuisine ever or which type of cuisine is in this particular african country that i couldn't you know make or pinpoint out feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and let me know but hey do you love jollof have you tried jollof before you should give it a try man i know you love it hey and Couscous, I told you before, man. Couscous is the real deal. That's, I'm recommending it to all of you. Couscous, oh boy, you should try couscous, man. Amazing, amazing stuff. All right, guys, it's your boy, Pretty Boy J. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.